you know, we've had a robust economy for a while. So the question is, well, okay, if we had a robust economy, why did our district budget sort of suffer in the middle of that? There's a couple factors I want you to be aware of. One of them is that the cost of delivering special education has risen exponentially over the last decade. There's many reasons for that. One of which is that autism identification has risen exponentially. Like autism is not new, but the identification of spectrum disorders has become so much more precise. And so kids that might've been sort of forgotten in the old days, now we're identifying spectrum disorders and along with that identification comes a whole host of issues with regards to lawyers and advocates. So the cost of delivering special education has gone like that. The federal government who is supposed to fund us on special education has gone like that. So our special ed needs are up, our costs are up, our funding is static or going down with special ed. The second piece of that puzzle is pension costs. And 10 years ago, the cost of, uh, to a district uh, with regards to each employee with their pension was about, I think, Linda, eight and a half to nine percent per employee. Okay, so in other words, you have an employee, they're under salary, about eight and a half percent of their salary went to the state for their retirement. What's happened with regards to STIRS and PERS and those management of those funds or mismanagement of those funds is that these costs have been passed down to districts and to employees. So that right now, every employee we have that's a certificated employee, about 20% of their salary, we're having to spend on pension costs. With regards to classified, it's even higher. It's approaching 25%. And so that is a double, that's double the cost with regards to pension for every employee we have from a decade ago. So that is another big factor.